we have light incident on a mirror. This is our mirror. Light incident on the mirror simply means that light is going toward the mirror. So this is going to be the incident ray right here. I give it a little arrow. This is the incident ray. Incident simply means it is moving toward the mirror. The incident angle for the incident ray is this angle right here. It is the angle with the normal. Every angle we give relative to a surface, relative to a mirror, something that's reflecting or refracting or to refraction in chapter 15, is always measured relative to the normal. Puja, normal means perpendicular to. So I've drawn this dotted line perpendicular to the mirror, and the incident ray is described by the incident angle, and this incident angle, theta i, is with the no, with the, I love it when I do that, with, with the, is with the normal to the mirror. We then have light being reflected, and this is going to be our reflected ray. And the angle of reflection is again with the normal. Theta sub prime, or theta prime is the reflected ray. Please do not use theta sub r. No, no, no. Theta sub r is for the refracted ray, and we're going to use that a heck of a lot more in chapter 15. So theta prime is the reflected ray. The incident angle is always equal to the reflected angle. They are always the same. 